Hey, what's up guys, No Best here. And this right behind me is my recording for gaming slash streaming setup. And in this video, I'm going to show you guys all the products that I have here from my computer to my camera to my mic, all that stuff to my monitors as well. All of these products will be linked down below in the description if you guys do wanna check them out. So without no further ado, let's get into it. All right, so no best here. And as I said, this is my tour of my recording for gaming and my streaming setup. So first, I think it would be best to start off with the mic, right? So this right here, I have my mic on a boom arm, as you can see right here, with my pop filter. Now this mic is the Blue Snowball Ice microphone, which is a highly, highly recommended microphone for any beginner um, streamer, as I don't stream that much, so this is all I really need. And so that is the mic with my boom arm and my pop filter. I use that for recording gaming, and for the occasional stream. Now, here I have my keyboard, right here as you can see. This is the, I don't know how to really say it, I think it's e Wadian. I'm not sure as you can tell, but it does light up like that, which is always cool. Over here, I do have my mouse, which is the same brand, and it lights up as you can see there. It does have not have any side buttons though, because I don't really game on my PC. And then this remote right here is just for the light strip right there. So that is those things. Now, there's one more thing on the actual desk that you can see, which is this guy right here. This is the Elgato HD 60S. Now that is a game capture card. And what it does is basically captures the footage of whatever you want to capture it of, whether it's your PlayStation, your Xbox, your PC, or even your screen of your own PC. It can do all that. And this is the Elgato HD 60S, which is capable of 1080p at 60 frames per second, hence the HD 60. Now, these are my two 28 inch, I believe, monitors by iInk. I believe these ones are discontinued, so I'm not sure. I'll put the link anyways down below in the description. And last thing that you can really see on the desk is the my webcam right up here. Now, this webcam right here is the Avermedia Live Streamer Cam 313. Now, this cam you can pick up for about $100 Canadian. Um, you can pick it up at any really tech um, retailer, such as Best Buy, Walmart, all of those things. And it is a 1080p 60, 60 or 30 frames, I believe 30 frames a second. It is decent quality. I use it for streaming, uh, as I don't stream as much. Um, but yeah, so that's everything on the actual desk. So now we're going to look at the beast that powers all this. So as you can see right here, I have my chair that I use, but we're gonna push that aside. Right down here, so right here, I have my PC right here that I use for all this stuff, for my game capture, my streaming, all my work that I do with my videos. I do edit on a MacBook, but this is where I produce all those videos, I record them all. Um, so this is my PC right here. It is an Intel Core i7. Four core processor. It has a RTX 1080 Ti, I believe, and it has a 16 gigs of RAM, I believe. That are the the base specs. I'm not really a big PC guy, so I'm not really sure what like all the uh, what you should really use. But as again, I'm a basic PC guy, so I don't use many, many PC components. So for me, those are pretty standard and those are enough really for me, for what I, for what I tend to do. Now I do have one more thing that is right here, but we're gonna have to move the camera around to show you it as I only use it when I'm recording, but when I'm not, it sits aside. And that is my green screen. So that's right here. I'm gonna flip the camera and we'll be right back.
All right, so this is my green screen that I use. It sits here while I'm not using it as it does hang right behind my chair. But right now, this is where it sits. I'm gonna hang it up and then we'll show you how it looks with the green screen in one second. All right, so this is what it looks like. I do have it hanging all the way up here. But if we come back down, that's what it looks like plainly right there. And then if we just take our hand, move the curtain across, as you can see here, it is our setup right behind there. Just the green screen, which takes out my background so then I can be really in the game, which makes it all cool and it gives that amazing effect. Now, of course, we do have the beast itself right here, the PlayStation 5, which is where we do play all, all of our gaming videos do happen off of this PS5 right here ever since I've had it before it used to happen off of the PS4, but that is where the beast itself is. Now, if we take a little bit of a left turn, I will show you guys what I play my games on right here. You can see it is a massive screen. It doesn't even fit in the whole frame. It is a 110 inch projector screen. So I'm gonna actually take us back a bit so we can see the full thing. All right, so as you can see here, this is a 110 inch projector screen. Our projector is right behind the camera right there. And we do have a 7.1 channel surround sound system for this projector where we watch our movies, where I play my games on here, all that fun stuff. As you can see here, if I move this, we have a sound bar right here across the bottom. And then on the two ends, we have our side sounds. We have two of more of them at the back two corners to give us that atmospheric sound. And then under my table where all my gaming uh, recording happens, we have our subwoofer, which is a massive subwoofer, I do have to say. And that is all where we do all of our stuff, as I said. It is quite the setup, I love it. We've had this for about a couple years. We've had that projector for I don't even know how long, but it has done us very well. So that is where all that happens. Now, speaking of our screen, um, this is what powers that screen right here. It is our Epson 1080p 60fps uh, projector. We've had this for I don't even know how long, and it's done amazing. This projector, I highly recommend. I'm not sure if it is discontinued by Epson or not. Um, I will put the link down in the description below. Either way, just in case you guys want to check it out, maybe buy it resold. But I gotta say, this projector right here is amazing. It has done us well. And the image quality on this is quite amazing for an old projector. Not, not old, but for a, for a decently not new projector. <laughs> it is very good image quality. As I said, it is 1080p 60. It does not have HDR as it is not 4K, which is a bummer. Um, but I do hope to get a 4K TV or projector very soon so that I can test out the full limits of the PS5. And so that I can actually watch my videos that I record in 4K, in 4K, if you, if you know what I mean, yeah. But this is the beast of the projector that powers the visuals of gaming. All right, now for this whole setup, this is where the relaxation happens. We have our front row couch which seats three and it is curved to give us that sort of um, surround feel of it. And then this row right back here is our back row, which is actually raised a bit to give you that theater sort of feel. It is raised, I believe, about an, uh, two and a half inches, I believe, um, to give us that feel, you know, like in the theater, how they're raised. That is how it is meant to make it feel. But these are quite comfy couches. Now, I don't know where we got them from, so I won't be able to link this down in the description below. But just to let you guys know, relaxation while gaming is almost everything you need, um, besides obviously the gaming and all that. But these couches are amazing. 
And this, all you gotta do is just lay back, put up your feet, grab a DualSense controller for the PS5, power it on, and then you just chill back and play games. All right, guys, so yeah, that's been it. Um, let me know what you guys think of this setup and let me know whether you guys have some of these products or not. As I said, all of them are linked down below in the description if you guys wanna check them out. So yeah, that is my setup. It is always upgrading, always changing. So maybe in the future, I'll update you guys on that. So thanks for watching guys. Please do go out and have a great day and we shall see you in the next one.